Ephesians in chapter number 5, in verse 30, he says, We are members of his body, of his flesh. The big one is and of his bone. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and fed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and came to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of this what my brethren, you what you've done it unto me. Now, I want you to notice he's not just talking about what you do for everybody, he's particular here. What you do for the least of what of my brethren, you have done it what unto me. You know why? Because they are members of his body. Are you hearing me? So what you did to them, you are doing it to him. The reason why we don't relate with one another the way we should relate with one another is because we don't have an understanding of this mystical body of Christ to which we belong in. Now, can I tell you something? Do you know the Bible actually tells us that we should design the lost body? See, Jesus is the head and we are the body. Now he says, if we do not design the lost body, he said that could cause us to be sick physically. And that can also result to physical death. I can show that in the Bible. If we can't even relate amongst ourselves, what gospel do we have to show to other people outside? What do you mean I can't stand that brother? Do you know who you are talking to? He said, whatever you do to the least of the brethren, you have done unto me. Maybe you don't understand. You are saying, I can't stand Jesus. Oh. When you shut your door against that brother, you shut your door against Jesus. When you decide to table them at the buffet and begin to size them up, they may not be there, but an angel is there taking notes. He said, if you offend any, he says, stop praying and go fix it first. Because if you are not doing that, there is no way you're going to receive. After you must have sized that sister, he sized her up about how she wore something that was not classy enough for you or she smells somehow now you're praying you wonder why things are not happening the little foxes it's almost like you 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 you're trying to to fetch water with a basket well you can be there you know not that 100 years nothing is going to happen think about it you're trying to drink water with a basket. <laughs> oh, no, it's not going to happen. Efforts applied. But there is no result. Because of these little things. Little, little things. So, so, why are you persecuting me? Who was so persecuting? The disciples of Jesus. He said, why are you persecuting me? Don't you know when you lay your hands on them, you lay your hands on me? He said, don't you know it is hard to kick against a stone? It will hurt you, bro. See, most of the fighting that we find in the church is politically motivated. Are you hearing me? Oh, we've been here long and we haven't, we haven't gotten nothing. We've been here, you know, I, nobody has made me dicky. Did you, did, is it for the, is it the position you came for, or is it to, is it for, is it to save Jesus? Are you, are you hearing what I'm telling you? 
Paul said, he said, I am the least. How many disciples did Jesus have? Twelve. Who did you get to hear more? Paul the apostle. The fellow who was persecuting. When either James and Joe, when those folks were laboring with Jesus, being persecuted with Jesus, you know what Paul was doing? He was having the best of his life. And suddenly, God elevated him. He said, I am the least of the apostles. He said, but this grace has been given unto me. Yes, sir. Yes. I may not have been there with Jesus. I may not have been there when he walked on water. I had. But this grace has been given unto me. So when you see God doing something, what do you do? You embrace it. Don't feel like, that's supposed to be me. Why would they pass me by? and give that to someone else. Who do you think you are? He said, until you come as a little child. Now, the key there was humility. He said, kids are humble. Oh yes, they are humble. He said, until you come, are these little children that are humble? He said, you will never see the kingdom. Are you going to embrace when others are elevated above you? The reason why you're going to fight is because you lack revelation of what or who the Christian is. So you must be conscious. This person is Christ in the flesh. Whatever I do and say to this person, I do and say to who? 